In my last six pound ball video, uh, my game plan was basically just throw it as fast as possible, hit the head pin. I didn't care if it was Brooklyn or pocket because the ball is so light, I figured it'd just deflect anyway and wouldn't really matter. In this video, I'm actually gonna be trying to hit the pocket. I'm gonna throw a full game with the out of stock or out of box finish, whatever that is for the Elgin Grit polish. I don't know what they put on spare balls. I don't really care. And then after that game, I'm gonna try putting 500 grit Avalon onto the ball, slowing it down, uh, hooking it more across the lane, getting some more angle and seeing if I can get more strikes with that six pound ball in the pocket. I got the six pound ball here. So it actually cracked all the way around um, in multiple places. I had it in my garage and we're in winter right now. It's very cold. I threw maybe four games with this and I guess it's not meant to be thrown at 25 miles an hour. Obviously six pound balls are meant to, for like five year olds going down the lane like two miles an hour. But uh, anyway, I bought another one. Six pun bong. And we are done. As you can see, very beautiful, very sexy. There is no need for a pro shop when you have a hand drill. And uh, this pinup layout should give us more length and then snap in the back end. And I kicked out the the mass bias. <laughs> Thank you.
Honestly, I was more nervous for that 10 frame spare than I was for any of my 300 games. Uh, I can't believe I choked that spare, man. That's about all for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. If you watched my first six pound ball video, obviously you can see that I had much better carry, slowing it down, hooking the whole lane, getting more angle into the pocket. And I thought originally that, you know, it would deflect, but apparently I could get it to st uh, still hit pretty hard. I don't think that the 500 grit Everlon really made much of a difference. Obviously, with a six pound ball, it still comes down to a lot of luck carrying. You have to hit absolutely dead flush to go through the pins perfectly. If you're like slightly flush or even like, you know, regular flush, you can still deflect and leave a five, six, ten. It's pretty ridiculous. I might make another video with just the weird carry because it is pretty funny to watch the ball hit the pocket dead flush and leave something crazy i don't know we'll see um yeah let me know what you guys thought about this video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one six pun